So in this example, we're given a circuit shown here that has two current sources, and they're asking us to determine what the voltage drop is going to be across the circuit. So this would be VAO. So here's A and here's O. So in a sense, what that means is if we were to come out and draw terminals here and measure the voltage across here, what would that read? That would be our VA0. And so noting that, we see that um, this right here, hold on, let me get on the right thing. This right here is a node, and this right here is a node. So this node A and node zero. So let's go about see how uh, we would do this. So the first thing uh, we see is because we have those nodes, we can do a Kirchhoff current uh, loop calculation. So we can sum up all the currents going in and out of A and uh, use that hopefully to uh, solve this, solve this uh, problem. So we're going to define current leaving A as positive. So let's look at how this works then. So the first branch we see is this branch here. And we see that that is a uh, 2 amp source and it's leaving A. So we're going to call that positive 2. So let's go ahead and write that. So that's 2. So the next branch we're going to look at is going to be this guy here. And we see they've already defined a current for us. We'll call it I-20. And then they're assuming that it's leaving. So uh, we can write that one as a plus I-20. All right, so let's look at our next branch. It'll be this guy here. And again, they've already defined uh, a current for us, I-30, because it's a 30 ohm resistor. So we're assuming it's leaving as well. So we'll say plus I-30. And then finally, uh, we have this branch here. And again, that's just a current source going into A. So we just write the value of the current source. And since it's entering A, uh, we define leaving as positive. So that's going to need to be a negative 3. And we said that if we sum all those currents up according to Kirchhoff's law, that should equal to 0. All right, so here's our equation. So now we need to get a little bit creative, and we need to recall from Ohm's law. Remember, Ohm's law is V equals IR. But we can rewrite I, solve for I, and say that I is equal to V over R. So that's what we want to utilize for this branch and this branch, because we have resistors in those branches right? that we can use for our R value. And the V is the VAO, what we're looking for. So let's rewrite that in those terms. So if we rewrite that, the current source just stays the same. But now our I-20 is going to be VA0 over 20. And similarly, uh, the 30 ohm branch is going to be VA0 over 30. And then final current source, again, stays the same. And again, that should all equal to zero. So now we've uh, derived our equation in relation to this circuit. We see we have one equation, one unknown. So we should be able to solve this for, v for VA0. So let's do that. So the first thing we note is the constants. So we're going to subtract 2 and add 3 to both sides. And when we do, we get... VA0 over 20 plus VA0 over 30, and that should be equal to 1. So now we want to get rid of all the fractions. So to do that, uh, we just pick the number 60. We'll multiply everything by 60. Uh, when we do that, the first term, 60 divided by uh, 20, should be 3. So that's 3 VA0. And then 60 divided by 30 is 2, so that's 2 VA0. And 60 times 1 should be 60. Now combine like terms, that's 5 VA0 should be equal to 60. If we divide both sides by 5, 
we should come out with then that VA0 is equal to 12 volts. So there's our voltage drop across that circuit. And we should be able to do a quick check here. Uh, if you're interested, we should be able to plug this number back into this equation. And it equals zero, like it says. So when we do, we'll have two plus two plus 12 over 20 plus 12 over 30 uh, minus three equals to zero. Uh, when we rewrite this, uh, we should have, uh, you can multiply everything by 60 again if you want. If we do that, that'd be 120 plus three times 12 plus two times 12 um, plus 180. Does it equal to zero is what we're trying to find out. And so we do, oh, excuse me, I left off a, this should be minus. So it's minus 180. And so then we'll have 120 plus 36 plus 24 minus 180. Does that equal zero? And so 36 and 24 is 60 plus 120 is 180 minus 180 equals zero, so that checks out.